welcome back to my channel or if you are new here welcome to my channel i really been wanting to do fashion related videos and now that everyone is back to school obviously is a perfect time to give you guys school outfit ideas what i'm going to be doing is trying on a bunch of outfits telling you guys where i got this stuff from and kind of styling them on camera for you and also showing you like variations of different outfits i have a lot of outfits to go through so without further ado let's get started all right here we are. The first item I'm going to be styling today are biker shorts. They are perfect for school if it goes within your dress code and you can wear biker shorts. Obviously, I go to college, so they really don't care what I wear. I see girls walking around in Nike Pros and sports bras all the time. No one gives a shit. So, hopefully these fall within your dress code. These ones in particular are from Laura's Boutique, and I got them for like $8. My favorite way to wear these are with just plain t-shirts. So first, I have this t-shirt from Cotton On. It is just a oversized ACDC tee. ACDC tee. Cotton On has a really good deal where all their t-shirts are two for 25. They have old band tees, old 90s artist tees, a lot to choose from. Obviously, you can go to the thrift store and get tees for like two or three dollars too. For shoes, I would either choose my Nike Air Force Ones or my Nike Technos. Right now, I'm going to go with my Air Force Ones because I don't feel like changing out of white socks to put black socks on. So here we go. And lastly, I would top it off with my key sunglasses. These ones are the Strange Love. They're collab with Sophia Ritchie. And they just look like this. So this is super comfortable, still cute, still stylish. So yeah, this is outfit number one. Other tees you can wear this with are cute little crop tees. This one is from PacSun. I would just wear the same shoes, the same sunnies. I feel like the white sneakers go better with this because there is white like in the tie-dye. And then the black sunnies match the black shorts. So we're still a matchy-matchy. Obviously, since it's still a t-shirt, it's still just as comfortable. There you go, here's another option. There you go. That made me dizzy. Also with biker shorts, I like to wear crew necks when it is a bit colder. This one is from Barney Cools. I think crew necks with biker shorts are really cute and I really like the color of this one. I also like really big hoodies. Ones that are long enough to even go over your biker shorts so it doesn't even look like you're wearing pants. This one is from Lumiere's. Personally, I would pull down my biker shorts just a little bit just so they're kind of peeking through. I think it looks better that way. Things that are just really oversized are very comfortable and you can style them in a way that look very cute. I have these sunnies from Bonnie Clyde. Yes, I am sweating if you're wondering. All right, now we got a good pair of sweatpants. So these ones are from Forever 21. They're the Fruit of the Loom sweats. I just recently got these. Go get yours now that Forever 21 is going bankrupt. They're probably going to be like 75% off. If you fit into Brandy Melville sweats, then go get yourself a pair of those because I heard they're very comfortable. Personally, cannot fit in them. The first way I would style sweatpants are with little tanks. These are all from Brandy Melville. They're all the same style. I just have one in white, blue, and black. I'm just gonna put it on over this top. I wouldn't wear this top underneath, but don't really feel like flashing, you guys. I am going to pair them with my Reeboks. And you always have to wear a good pair of sunglasses, so I'm going to wear the ones from Key once again. And here you go. Super cute, even though you are literally wearing sweatpants. Even when I dress down, I still like to look put together, so I feel like when stuff is matching with my shoes to my tank top, when you wear like a really cute pair of sunglasses, you're putting a little twist on sweatpants, and I feel like it just looks more like a whole outfit that way. If it is colder outside, I would throw on a jacket. This one is from Brandy Melville. I'm sorry for mentioning Brandy Melville too many times. I know obviously their clothes don't fit everyone, but Forever 21 does have a lot of dupes for their stuff most of the time. I don't have any like matching sweatsuits, so this is like my version of a matching sweatsuit. If you want to be super chill laid back you can wear a pair of slides I personally wouldn't wear them with socks but just don't really feel like taking off my socks um there you go <laughs> I look like I'm really going to bed there you go this is the definition of comp. So now I got a good pair of leggings. These are from Lululemon. I know Lululemons are very expensive, but I decided to invest in these because they're perfect for the gym, they're perfect for school. Literally all the time, I just needed a really, really good pair of black leggings. So that's what these are. So with leggings, I will usually style them kind of like my biker shorts. I'll wear little tanks like this. I can wear my oversized tee, my crop tee, the crew neck. I also like to wear zip ups like this. I have a ton from the thrift store, but this one in particular is, again, 
from Brandy Melville. But a lot of their tops like this are pretty big, but you can find zip up sweaters like this pretty much everywhere. And I'm just gonna put on the Bonnie Clyde sunglasses. I'll put to wear in like hoodies, crew necks. I like to wear sunglasses like these. My hair in like a sleek bun, a pair of hoops. I feel like it makes those outfits look a little bit more chic. I use that word loosely, but it kind of elevates it. And so I'm just wearing like leggings and a hoodie. It's a whole look. But I like it. I look like I'm just like running errands, like taking my dogs to the dog park. Yes. A couple more things I would wear with leggings. This is why leggings are my go-to. Is that I can wear them with just a t-shirt and layer over them. Here I have a cardigan from Forever 21. I love cardigans. Long cardigans are so freaking comfortable. And I feel like cardigans are a really easy way to dress up a look, kind of. Instead of just wearing a hoodie or a jacket, wear a cardigan and like a pair of boots. Right now I do not have my docks or else I'd probably wear my docks with this. With like a pair of white long socks and like scrunch them up. And and of course, I am still not over the Teddy Coat. So easy and perfect for school. This one is the IMG Pixie Coat, which is like $100. This one is from Zaffle, and this one was $20. I gotta say, this one for the money is also really good. So I'm gonna try both of them on and show you guys. So this one is the Zaffle one. December and January, this is literally what you will see me wear to school. If it's really cold in Southern California, that's like 60 degrees, that calls for like a hoodie underneath the teddy coat. I'll usually go for this one rather than the IMG one because this one is a little bit thinner so I can layer it without getting too hot. But with this one, another pair of sunglasses because although it gets cold in LA, somehow it's still sunny. So you still need to wear sunglasses. These ones are the Abby sunglasses from Cotton On and they're like the tortoise color design. Now for the IMG one, you can definitely tell the difference when you're wearing each of them. But like I said before, $20, like you really, you can't beat it. Well, this one I would probably wear an all black pair of sunglasses. And there you go, basically the same outfit. But for some reason, I feel very chic and stylish in this one. Just this jacket makes me feel bougie. It really does. As soon as I put it on, I'm like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Do not talk to me. Talk to my publicist. Another jacket I would like to wear. This one is also from Barney Cools. Oversized kind of windbreaker material. Matching with like the black and the white. Also very cute, also very comfortable. Honestly, I think I'm gonna title this video cute and comfy because that's what I'm saying about all of these looks. All right, all right, all right. This is for my skirt ladies out there. I know some people might not be comfortable wearing skirts to school or it might not go within your dress code, but if you like wearing skirts, Girl, I got you. This one is from Brandy Melville, and it is the only Brandy Melville skirt I fit into. But again, right now, Forever 21 has a lot of skirts. Paxson has a lot of skirts. This one in particular is the Brandy Melville. My top is Forever 21, and I'm wearing Converse and the Bonnie Clyde sunglasses. I feel super cute in this. Personally, I don't know if I would wear it to school. Maybe on a day that I had something like to go to afterwards. If you have like an oversized neutral colored band tee, you can wear that and like tuck in a little bit. I also have this little cardigan from Target. And yeah, there you go. I feel so girly. All right, now we are on to jeans. These are my absolute favorite jeans. These are from BDG, Urban Outfitters. They have a high-waisted straight leg jeans. Here we go, another pair of white sneakers, an outfit. A plain white t-shirt, the cotton on sunglasses, an outfit. Here is another tee I got from Cotton On. And this one I really like to tuck in because I got it in a medium. I didn't get it oversized. So with these ones, I would just tuck it in, loosen it out a little bit. And I would pair them with these circle sunglasses I got from Old Navy. I really like this outfit. I think it's super cute and I really like the colors of it. You can also wear a cardigan over it. Another reason why I love these cardigans, throwing it on with jeans and a pair of boots or just a clean pair of sneakers makes it very cute. I would probably put on the cotton on sunglasses with this. I'm gonna show you guys different variations of wearing jeans with basically each of these pieces just to show you how you can wear these pieces over and over again and get different looks with each of them. So yeah. Let's do that.
Last thing I want to talk about are cutoff shorts. They're like cutoff jeans, long shorts kind of. And I really like these because when I wear jean shorts, they usually like ride up on me and I'm really uncomfortable wearing them. But these are super, super comfortable. So of course, I have them in every color. And I'm going to show you now how I style these. <laughs> Is that it? I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Are we sure? Ooh, it is literally now nighttime. That was intense to say the least. I am sweating so much. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. It is something very different than anything I have done on my channel, but I really liked it. So let me know if you guys want more videos like this, more styling videos. But this is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you would like. Also, follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked in the description down below, as well as somewhere on the screen. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!